What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. So I was browsing Facebook the other day and I noticed that there was, there was a couple different posts about people wearing out their Model Y tires or even their Model 3 tires really, really quickly, like under 10,000 miles. The one post that I found where the, the owner of a Tesla Model Y actually wore down their tires at 8,000 miles, which is really, really, really short term and I really didn't want to happen to me. So what it looked like what happened in the post is that these Tesla Model Ys and Model 3s from the factory don't actually come with the correct alignment specs or they're just all from the factory. So in today's video, we're actually gonna go to an alignment shop that I found that was pretty recommended by a couple different owners in the Los Angeles area. I'm gonna pay for a quick alignment of my Tesla Model Y and hopefully if there's any issues with the alignment, it'll get fixed and I won't burn through these set of tires. So welcome back to the channel and thanks for watching another video. Let's get on our way to the alignment shop and let's get into the video. So the alignment shop is actually in like the city of industry, which is basically like 20 to 30 minutes east of downtown LA where I'm at. It's a shop, we'll get, I'll show you details of the shop when we get there, but I think his name is like Chewy's. I actually really highly recommend it on the GTR form, but I did text him. He's been super responsive with answering my questions and he actually has done a couple of model wise already. So hopefully he can show us a before and after and we can fix any alignment issues with my Tesla Model Y. There really isn't any issues with my current Model Y alignment. It kind of slightly goes to the left, but I think that's really because of how the road is curved out here. It's really, I'm just worried about like the toe and camber of the wheels because that's really where you can wear parts of the tires a lot quicker, like the inner or the outer side of the tires, which will just burn through a set of tires really quickly. Thanks for watching another video guys. If you're new here, my name is Dennis. I have a Tesla Model Y performance and I make videos about my experience. So if you're interested in any of that, please hit that subscribe. So thinking back to my Tesla Model 3 that I bought actually pretty new as well with only like 100 miles, I had a paint defect issue early on with the red paint and it went to the shop with probably within the first three to six months of me owning it. And because it took so long for Tesla to kind of work through all the paint issues and ordering a new bumper and painting it, they were actually able to give me a free alignment early on. So that's probably why my set of tires on my Tesla Model 3 were able to last so long, even past 20 to 22,000 miles before I sold. It. So reflecting back, that's probably why the tires on my Model 3 lasted so long. And the good thing is I have three or a little bit over 3,400 miles on my Model Y right now. So this is probably too late for an alignment because there's probably some lasting damage to the tires if, they're, if the alignment was off from the factory. But certainly getting it done is a lot better than not getting it done at all. So hopefully the tire wear is even on my tires and I don't chew through a set of tires under 10,000 miles like some other people have reported. So I just left the shop right now. I've driven for a little bit and it feels, I think a lot better. I mean, I guess it, it was probably really slight adjustments to the alignment, but really just make sure that I guess like the toe and camber were perfectly straight. And, and I asked him how bad it was if, we're, if it were, if it was even bad or not. And he said the front was pretty okay, but the rear was definitely out of whack. So there were some adjustments. He sent me a screenshot of the adjustments that he made. So I'll put it on the screen so you can kind of take a look and see for yourself, but definitely recommend worth paying for this alignment just for the peace of mind that I'm not going to wear down my tires any quicker than they need to. And I know you're probably gonna ask like why didn't I go to Tesla to try and get it factory line alignments are pretty finicky in my experience so you, it really you really have to go to a shop or go to someone that's trusted that knows what they're doing because or you might just get a newbie or just an inexperienced technician that's gonna work on your car that might not even do alignment correctly that might not even do alignment correctly so in my opinion it's worth just paying that little bit just to get it done at a proven experienced shop that has a lot of good reviews and ratings so for this alignment I did pay $150 
dollars and the shop is called true works in the city of industry so definitely check them out if you're interested it looks like they have a lot of racing stuff there's cars all over the place in pieces and it looks like there's a couple track cars there as well so definitely check them out if you're interested in getting alignment for your tesla model y or really any tesla that you have and another thing that was really cool is i've never been to an alignment shop in where i sat in the driver's seat the whole time while they were working on the car to fix the alignment or make sure the alignment was straight so if you're wondering why i was in the car kind of filming b-roll in the driver's seat the whole time he basically had me do a couple things during the whole process like turn the steering wheel all the way to the left turn it all the way to the right hold the brake and hold it straight just to really make sure that the alignment is accurate while i'm driving in the car which actually makes a lot of sense if you think about it typically me sitting in the car will add another 190 pounds of weight and so that can affect the alignment of any car while you're driving on the street as a daily driver or even on the track as well. So definitely a really cool experience at Chewark with their pretty much customized alignment for my Tesla Model Y. So definitely check them out if you're interested in something like this for your Tesla in the California area. All right guys, thanks for watching this quick video about me getting my alignment done on the Model Y. Hopefully I won't have any issues and my tires will last the full maybe 20,000 miles or even 30,000 miles. I just didn't want them to run out in 10,000 miles because I do have 3,000 miles on the car right now. So I really want to get this alignment done sooner than later. All right guys, thanks for watching this video. Please hit that like if you enjoyed it and comment below if your alignment feels out of whack or if you have experience doing this as well and if your alignment was even worse than mine. Love to hear your thoughts. All right guys, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.